It was one stormy night. Take a look at this video southwest of here in Waconia. That system on Monday made its way toward the CCX viewing area. On Tuesday, homeowners were out assessing the damage. Fortunately for those in the northwest metro, the damage was minimal. The portion of the line that passed through the northwest suburb of the cities wasn't as strong as what went through the southwest suburb and then through the central part of the cities. There was a, there was a specific area of the storms that had stronger wind gusts with it. Caleb Grunsky of the National Weather Service in Chanhassen says those wind gusts reached 60 miles per hour in the southwest part of the metro. It downed trees and knocked out power. This radar loop from Tuesday morning shows the system coming in from the west, through the Twin Cities metro and into western Wisconsin. Monday's heat and humidity were to blame. That's basically the uh, energy for these storms, uh, having a very warm and moist environment allows for a lot of uh, atmospheric instability, which is what the storms feed off of. So having a lot of that in place means you can have, generally, usually have a lot stronger storms. Grunsky says to expect more comfortable temperatures for the rest of the week, though there is rain in the forecast for Thursday. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.